Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, also, happy New Year's. It's the new year, 2021. Let's hope it's a better year for all of us. Right? Thank you. Hey, it was great. This is booming. <laughs> As you guys can see by the title. We just had a nice little seafood. Uh, boil. Boil. I'm about to seafood my ass to bed. <laughs> so. As you guys can see by the title, we're doing something a little bit different tonight with our video. We didn't plan to both wear black shirts. We sure did. And you might see Milani's hand trying to come off the bassinet because she's awake. So, by the title, as you can see, we're doing pillow talk. This will be a discussion once a month between you and I, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. So. I don't deal with this stuff because I love you. Okay, continue. Oh, I know. You have no choice. So tonight's topic. Ask a question. Is being married during the pandemic. So as you know. We're we, married. We're married. <laughs> Happily married. <laughs> and this is a pandemic. <laughs> so this is an experience that was very new to all of us. And the so, discussion is how did we deal with it? Because it's been a year. The wife held it down. Well, it's that not over. It's over for today. Oh, for this year. <laughs> she held it down this year. She basically ended up staying working from home. So I was able to continue doing my thing and doing my job. And she held it down with the kids and the family. So I definitely felt different because you know Tristan's been going to daycare for the last couple of years so you know I was used to always waking up waking him up bringing him to uh school and then either she would pick him up or I would pick him up but now she's working from home and he was just going to be in K2 or was it K1 K2 yeah so you know he's still not at the age yet to go to school but we have him doing like tutoring and stuff like once or twice a week so it made sense to just keep them home and not send them to the school. Because they're doing remote anyways. And he's still super young. He's barely got focus where she has to work from home too. So that's definitely going to change. So when I wake up, Tristan kind of wakes up right after me. So he follows me to like the bathroom. He makes sure I get him his breakfast. And then after that, instead of taking him to school, I just go and then she deals with the rest of them. And then when I come home, it's da 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 well, when you're yelling at me half the time. But honestly, you could say, I could say half of this pandemic, I was pregnant. So yes. my hormones were everywhere. So I think it was is, a blessing. You think I want to be home, stuck home? I'm like, you think I want to yeah. go to work? You don't think I want to work from home and stay at home too? That would be fucking great. Right. It was, it's a oh, it was a blessing and a curse at the same time because being pregnant during the got pandemic, to spend more time I got to spend kids. time with the kids and enjoy, you know, relaxing because I was on bed rest, you know, and I got to work from home, so it worked out. Yeah. Working from home, it helped while you know I was on bed rest, but at the same time, it sucked, you know, because a lot of things again, like we had mentioned in the last couple of videos, we did have to cancel, and we couldn't get to really celebrate and enjoy like special moments with everyone, you know, with my pregnancy and stuff. But it's it was. It was hard. Yeah. I cried a lot. There was moments I cried, but you know, his support was amazing during that time. And she cried. I laughed. <laughs> like we're crying again. Full, full circle. Um, my hormones were everywhere. I can say because mm -hmm. I feel like my hormones are still everywhere. I'm still. Let me sit up, please. <laughs> we're both gonna sit I'm about to fall asleep. I feel like we're both well for me, my I feel like I'm still battling postpartum. 
but not as bad as the beginning. I feel like I'm getting slowly getting back to my old self, but. And I'm battling this weight gain. Stop. I've been gaining like crazy during this pandemic. I think. Um, I need to get back into working out. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be right behind you. But, um, it was hard because we had our first daughter. We couldn't celebrate that moment with everybody and how we really wanted to. And like, you know, trying to prepare for her and all that extra stuff where y'all have your friends and family around. That was taken away. So a lot of my emotions were all over the place. And sometimes I did take it out on him. But he, he handled it very well. Because I would just be like, here she go again with this crap. <laughs> no, you did not. Brush it off like, ah. Oh, you okay. you would hug me. You would tell me it's okay. Sometimes you'd be like, okay, you're crying again about this. Yeah, and then when it's and like when you're, hugging, when you're hugging, <laughs> you're looking. They think you're looking all sad, but you're on the other side like. Oh, That's how you were. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. No, but it was really hard. And then, um, of course, it got to the point where he couldn't attend any appointments, so it made it even worse for me. And a lot of stuff I did keep followed up and I wouldn't say how I felt which didn't help um but I did enjoy the fact that we got to spend more time together I think it brought us closer um even she's talking you don't help her do no she's talking what are you doing you want to come sit with us <laughs> yeah my body's up you can probably see her head <laughs> so Let's go. Okay, can you not push me forward anymore? <laughs> so <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. So I feel like us being home together it brought us closer together and we did find different ways to celebrate certain moments and do different activities to keep us, you know, busy and having fun. Yes. Um, we also celebrated our anniversary during the pandemic, my birthday, Tristan's birthday, Milani's birth, his birthday, different holidays, but we found different activities to make it fun. So I feel like when we did that, it also made us closer because we took time away. We did capture some moments of that, of course, but... Yeah, because before this, we weren't really homebodies. We went out a lot, or we probably went out to eat, like... Don't do me like that. I would say maybe. Try I, to forgot, I, had, I had the conversation with somebody. I was like, yeah, we probably went out to eat once a week. I think it was, it was either my brother or my sister. And they were like, who are you lying to, dude? I used to see on your Instagram and your things. You guys went out to eat at least twice a week. I was like, damn. <laughs> so we went out a lot. In the beginning of the pandemic, I'm not going to lie, we were scared to order out. So we spent a lot of time cooking together, finding different stuff. We did make pizza a lot, though. Yeah. That's Trisha's favorite. Um, <laughs> so we did find things to keep us, you know, interacting with each other. Um, Arguing-wise, are you over it now? And all right, just say how you feel. I ain't Call it a day. I'll be waking up like, I ain't going to get a bath today. Or I gotta stay on the straight and narrow because when she gets mad about something or if she gets upset about something, Try it, comes, it comes out of nowhere. I'm like, what the hell? What it I comes out of nowhere? I'm like, what the hell did I do to get there? So <laughs> <laughs> I'd be thinking about it sometimes, like, how did I get to that point? And then the next day I'd be like, I'm make sure I tread lightly. Yes. Tread lightly. For the new year. It's all good. I don't be doing nothing bad. No, you don't. Um, I really don't think we, this year was, it was great. I'm not gonna lie. It was great being, you know, home with my kids and I got to bond with Milani, you know what I'm saying? Cause she's six months. I got to be home with my baby for six months. That's amazing. And then I have my husband home with me when he wasn't working, you know what I'm saying? So it was great. How is it being home with Tristan? Home with Tristan? <laughs> he keeps me busy. I'm not going to lie. Tristan is at the stage, re reminder, he is four years old, um, and boys are very hyper, and Tristan, there's times that he's quiet, he'll play in his room, 
you know, when we're not doing school stuff, just to keep him busy. He'll, like, do whatever he wants in his room, of course. And there's times where he'll just come and, like, he needs this, but he has to have it right now. And he'll have his little tantrum. Like, it's normal, like, toddler behavior. But it's just sometimes, you know, dealing with that. And, of course, my postpartum, I'm still trying to handle all the different emotions. I'm just like, why is he crying now? What now? And then when you're not here to help with it, it's just like, okay, if he's crying, she's crying. I'm like, okay. I need you guys both to calm down. Get her a pacifier and then deal with him real quick. And then I'll take care of her if it's either a bottle, diaper change, or figure it out. But Tristan is a handful sometimes. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but then you're always saying he's great during the day. And then when, he's I, great. when I come oh, home, yeah. as soon as I come home, he, he has his like moments. This, see, he's going crazy. No, he home. does. Tristan has his moments. Don't get me wrong. But as soon as his father gets home, Tristan's like on a thousand. Right? Dad, you're home? doing flips and all this extra stuff and i'm just like he wasn't just doing that wait what just happened it's like he gets so it's like he's excited and he wants to like play fight and flip and jump and play video now it's video games with his dad um he, yeah but it's normal boy behavior i guess i don't know what this one's gonna do when she's a little bit older so we're gonna find that out soon boys <laughs> So it's not bad. I am, I'm enjoying this moment, you know, and I'm thankful that I'm home with my babies and they're all healthy and safe. Yeah, that's how you feel too. Okay. <laughs> One thing I'll say though is, I feel like time's going by fast as hell. You think so? Yeah, the year's done. I don't think so. It feels like she was just born. Like, I remember when she was born, she was tiny as hell. She was, like, almost like a premature baby. She is still tiny. Yeah, she's big. No, she's not. She's Milani, still tiny. Milani, Milani are, looks big in pictures and videos. You are chunky, But girl. Milani's really small. No, she is not. Yes, she, she is. She is. Dude, she's, she's got a little height. She got the weight for sure. <laughs> no, she don't. She's thick. I feel like she's she really small. the height. No, Milani, you are not small. You're not small. You're big. You're a big but baby. My kids are no, like you're seven months. You're a big baby. My kids sleep. Like that's the thing that I'm truly thankful for. Especially um Melania. I she must, I she sleeps her. in. She goes to bed. She sleeps all night. She doesn't wake up. Tristan sleeps. He wakes up late also sometimes. So it's like my kids are very good at sleeping. So I'm like thankful. Um yeah, you're big after that. Your mom loves to nap. That's why her first her first word was mama. Oh yeah. Okay, she said it on December 29th. I caught a video which I would add a clip. Oh. I'm sorry, you lost this one. Tristan said mom um dead at first. Melanie said mama first. So I was happy that I got to experience that moment and I didn't miss it. Supposedly she said it. Supposedly. But I haven't heard it since. But I have it on tape. But being married, it's during this whole pandemic, it's been a blessing. I'm not gonna lie, it's been fun. Um, going into the new year, I want to continue the same path that we've been on. Um, I just want to be more active and more, you know, starting to feel like my old self. Um, if that makes any sense. Um, Wish you both the 2020 for our marriage. That's her goal for 2021. Um, <laughs> keep growing. Keep chasing dreams, goals. Maybe start to turn into one of those fit couples. You could work like that. That sounds good. Um, just enjoy each other more. Do some stuff more. Like I'll better. tell you what. In 2021, if the corona goes away, we're not definitely not going to be going out to eat like we used to because we did eat out a lot. Yeah, we did. If not twice a week, definitely once a week, we go to a restaurant. But I'm definitely going to take more vacations, more trips, that's for sure. Definitely. I said communicate more. I've definitely been good to be a homebody. I've probably never watched so many damn movies in my life. Every night if I come home, if it's not too late, we watch a movie. And then there's some days, like, if I take a day off, we'll watch, like, three in a row. And then we're, like, it feels like the time didn't even move. Right. So. 
I want to say communicate, not communicate more, but better. On my end. Definitely. Oh, damn, you said it, I was thinking. <laughs> really? No, really, I really do. And that's not something that's not going to be hard. I think it'll be good. Um, I think we should do more dates. Oh, yeah. Um, Just us. Yeah. Not the kids. Because my parents were definitely, you know, they were the kids. No problem. Um, kids can watch themselves. Look at her. She's a grown, <laughs> grown woman. Uh, she ain't liking it. She's like, uh-uh, she ain't for it. Look at doggy. But, yeah. Stay married during the pandemic will come back for us. Um, what was that fake ass phone we went to? Because I'm just thinking, like, it wasn't really bad. It wasn't fake. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> I feel like it brought us closer. I really do. You don't feel like that? No. Like how far we came in life. We're still going, Jesus. Don't no, seem like we just I'm stopped. just saying, like, well, Jesus 2020 Christ. is done now. Like, We're entering 2021. So, moving anymore. I'm just saying. Okay. We're two kids. Jesus. Crazy, huh? Two and dead. Stay tuned, maybe 2021. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, freak boy, all right now. Uh-uh. I'm kidding. All right now. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about being married? Nope. That any was advice, all. Any advice you want to give to couples out there that's having a hard time? Nope. Or you're on your own. <laughs> that's what Deja Fellow said. Nope. You're on your own. <laughs> Just, uh. You got any issues, work it out. Don't go to bed mad. You guys figure everything out. And just love one another. Love on each other. <laughs> Sandy, we're not even done recording. <laughs> Alright. Well, well, that's it. Our first, I'm about to go to bed. This was our first episode of Pillow Talk. Um, stay tuned for next month's Pillow Talk. It'll be a whole new topic. Get ready, okay? No. <laughs> um, stay tuned for the pranks, um, pranks. the games, family activities. Um, <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching. Melania's getting fussy, so we're gonna come put her to bed. So. Wishing you guys all the best. Have a safe 2021. Stay healthy. Make sure you guys wear your mask. Social distance. Um, hit that subscribe button. Hit the, Tristan would say. <laughs> hit the subscribe button. And stay safe, guys. Wishing you guys all the best. Thanks for watching. Peace.